plants can be categorized by five categories, mosses, ferns, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Mosses are the oldest and simplest type of plant. It's thought that they evolved when algae washed up onto land because of receding tides. They are the first thing to colonize land. We know this because plants need to be there before hungry animals come along. Back then, land on Earth was very rocky, with little soil or dirt. They helped to build the soil so that more complex plants could take roots. Speaking of roots, mosses technically don't have roots because they don't have a vascular system. They don't have a xylem or phloem. This means that they don't have true roots or shoots. Mosses are gametophyte dominant, spending most of their lives with one copy of DNA. When they are ready to reproduce, they produce both sperm and egg structures. When the egg is fertilized, it turns into a spore forming structure, which has two copies of DNA. It then releases spores, which all have one copy of DNA. Ferns were around when dinosaurs ruled the planet. There used to be ferns as tall as trees and buildings. Back then, the earth was warmer, wetter, and had more oxygen. With more oxygen, insects were larger. You can think of this as sort of a swamp planet. Ferns slowly absorbed carbon from the atmosphere and put it into the ground over long periods of time. These ferns turned into fossils. We now use these fossilized fern that we call coal to burn in and light our cities. With less carbon in the atmosphere, the world slowly cooled, leading to a drier, colder planet. Amphibians dried out and dinosaurs took their place. Because this is where coal is from, in fact, the period is called Carboniferous, meaning coal bearing. The next type of plant is gymnosperm, meaning naked seed. These plants produce cones. A good example of gymnosperm are pine trees. They evolved in drier environments after the ferns. While mosses and ferns require water to move sperm, gymnosperm produce pollen, which have wing structures on their sperm. Their sperm travel by the wind to fertilize their eggs. The last type is angiosperm, meaning new. Therefore, angiosperm means new seeds. What makes these different than gymnosperm is that their seeds are covered. One way that angiosperm seeds can be covered is fruit. In fact, when you're eating fruit, you're eating an angiosperm's ovule. Other things that can cover their seeds are nuts, legumes, and berries. Exception to fruit and nuts are pine nuts and ginkgo trees. Angiosperm have flowers. All plants with flowers are angiosperms. Angiosperms can be divided into two groups, monocots and dicots. Monocots are grasses, and dicots are broadleaf plants. The major differences between these five types are that mosses are the most primitive, ferns have a vascular system like xylem and phloem, gymnosperm produce seeds and don't require their sperm to use water, angiosperm produce flowers. Now you know all five types of plants.